about only bats. <laughs> Why? Why not picture? <laughs> and December. Uh, I started buying equip equipment for my office and uh, something blah 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 uh, <laughs> about. Anyway, I was busy so much. Yeah, and more. It, every American friend came to Japan for their Christmas vacation. So, of course, I have to meet them because I'm drinking, you know. <laughs> I'm drinking, yeah. yeah. So it's Christmas. <laughs> hmm. In January, uh, I created my company's homepage on my own, alone, only three days. Uh, yeah, I felt I, I'm genius. <laughs> yeah. I announced the fact that I started a new studio. I had a small opening party. A lot of friends came, small office, uh, so loud. Uh, my owner, she is already 73 years old. Uh, that was, she was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of foreigners in her, her building, in small building. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to gather up stranded crew for White House, January. Even more rapidly, I was able to start working on a new project. Thank you. I started writing a second draft on my novel. End of February. I got so busy. <laughs> I thought I desired. <laughs> Crazy. That was busy. In much, much too busy. <laughs> yes, but I went to GDC and I sent a second draft of my novel to my publisher. I kept working hard on game development uh, last month. Yes, I really did a lot this thing last uh, year. A lot of things. Uh, I like so many drink. <laughs> bye bye, it's okay. Date, date for the past year, my past year. Project document written, nine. Project pitches to over 15 companies. Uh, lecture event, speech given for. And uh, Twitter for us, grow up. Uh, people met at conference. People, I started. <laughs> Uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, next. Uh, beer intake. Uh, maybe, maybe 1450 liters. Yeah, coffee. Uh, like this. Yeah, and then cat bites me three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I have uh, travel cats. I have travel cats in my house. So for now, only 10 cats. Only 10 cats. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the list of what I lost in past year. This is the list. Oh, hey Dan, did you add them when you translate this right? I, I put in what you wanted to say, sorry. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't read so much. Don't read. <laughs> don't read. Hey, you. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I wrote that. Okay. Move next. Uh, what I got? Uh, this is the list. I say, let's not bad. Especially comfort comfortable sofa is important. Most important thing. Uh, this is my last year. And uh, we are white house. Oh, oh, no white phrase. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Stop streaming. <laughs> stop streaming. Stop. Okay, okay. Okay? Don't shoot. Okay, okay. Never. Okay, okay. Only you. Only you. Only you. Your okay, face. Only me. Okay. No photo phrase. 
because a lot of reason. <laughs> a lot. Okay, that's all. <laughs> this is chat time. Brandon, yep. come here. Come in. Yeah. Come in. And ask me something. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we have only two mics, so. That's okay. Here, here, here. Let's share. Okay. Yes. Like uh, a <laughs> acoustic <laughs> band. Yeah, you get cuddling. <laughs> yeah, I need my guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so last year when we were here, we talked about crunch. Crunch? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you discussed how it's very difficult to avoid crunch in Japanese companies. Mm -hmm. So you've started your new company. Have you found some ways to avoid crunch? This problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about this. クランチ。うん、そうですね。で、その、どうやって泣くそうかとか、えっと、働きすぎてたらちゃんと仕事を僕に報告をして、えっと、どういうふうにそのスケジュールをクリアしようかっていうことを一人一人見れるような環境において、
The first person he hired was tax accountant because he hates thinking about tax stuff. But the next most important thing he feels is a programmer, so he found the best programmer he could find. He can't give you the details on who that person is, but they're very talented. Um, and as you are beginning with your new game, or games, can you kind of talk us through your prototype process? Because some of the, uh, most of the things that make your games really special are things that come way after, like the, the story and the tiny little details and the special things that you can do. And I, I wonder if, do, we, do you put that in at the prototype phase at all? Or what's your process there? So it's on the game of the video, you know, まあ、そういうストーリーの部分とか小さなディテールとかそういうのは結構普通のゲームのプロセスだったら結構最後の方に来るようなものなんだけどそういうさんの,そのプロトタイプまでの工程はどういうような感じなんですかそういうしょあの詳しいことをもう先に入れてるんですかえっとまず最初にドキュメントの段階でそういう細かい設定とか詳しいところ場合によってはセリフとかも全部書かれてるものが用意されててそれをえー、っとプロトタイプにするときにビルドに入れるのはすごくお金も時間もかかることなのでビルドには入れられてないけれども別にドキュメントとして僕が書いたシナリオとかを出したりしてその部分は絶対に作りますよっていうのをコミットしていく。So he, he makes sure to always put those details and the story and stuff like that into the very first design document and commit to it and say, you know, we're definitely going to put it in. Obviously it's very hard to work all that stuff into a prototype, but it's always there from the start. Yeah, so when you pitch to a publisher or investor and you have a prototype, do you also give them some piece of this document that shows, you know, these, these are the things we're going to do that makes this a swear game? So, the prototype will be seen to me. あのドキュメントと一緒にこういうあのそれさんらしいことも言えるよみたいなそういう話もするんですか？そういう話をするんで、例えば十五社ぐらいにプレゼンしても。Yes, he does do that, and that's why half of the companies who he pitches to just laugh in his face, basically. So、uh, he can't tell you the details, but one of the games is a game that features cats. And for 15 minutes, they grilled him. Why cats? Why does it have to be cats? Why are cats in the game? Why not? Yeah! 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 Maybe he, he likes d o g Yeah! Yeah! So, this kind of relates to something that my programmer、mm-hmm. over there, Shane, and I often talk about,、mm-hmm. which is、uh, taste in games. Your individual taste coming out. In games. We think that's a great thing and pretty much the only way to make something that is truly special that people will react to.、Uh, what is, can you explain some of your process for taking your personal taste and putting it into your games so that people can interact with you? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> It's not going to be very like,、uh, composed answer, is that okay? Yes. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's very hard for me, but the staff is very hard for me. For example, they have a scene to make a scene. That scene is of course good for the game. But if there is nothing to do, っていう時に何が足りないんだろう。あ,あ、スウェリズムが足りないっていう時がたくさんある。It's really hard for him to do this, of course, but it's also hard for the staff as well because they'll finish the scene and it'll be a very good scene for like a normal video game, but they'll think, okay, something's missing. Something's missing. Oh, I got it. It doesn't have enough swearism in it, and then they'll call him over. スタッフは最近ホワイトアウトのスタッフはスウェリズムがとかよく回避してるの。So recently in, the, in his company, they, his staff members keep having the, these swearism meetings. Yeah. <laughs> He feels bad for them. Do you 
do you feel like you have to, or they have to kind of filter this sort of idea of taste in there? It's like, you know, what if there's a whole hour of talking about one specific, or where a character talks about one specific movie? Maybe that's too much swearism. Mm -hmm. uh, too much swearism. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have some kind of level for this? なんか1時間もう英語の映画の話したらそれはやりすぎとかそういうなんかなんか制限かけたりしますかえっとねいや制限はかけないけどこれがスウェルズムでしょみたいなものを出されて全然違う時があるあ、uh, うん、He doesn't really have to impose limits but there are times in when、uh, there are things in the game where、uh, the his staff goes Okay this is スウェルズム right? We got it right? But it's completely wrong それはだから長さとかじゃなくて、なんやろうな、やっぱりね、スタッフのみんな日本人だから、日本人の考える変なことをやろうとする。それだけじゃ足りなくて、日本と西洋をどうやってミクスチャーするかっていうところがすごい大事になって。It's not really a matter of length, it's more, you know, his staff are all Japanese people, so sometimes they'll think of just doing something that a Japanese person would think is weird. But that's not it, it's really about mixing East and West in a special sort of way. Uh, one thing that kind of bothers me about that thinking of doing something crazy thing is quite often Western press will write about something that you do or something that Suda san does and be like, look at these crazy Japanese guys. And it feels kind of dismissive and strange when I don't think you're trying to be. Wacky Japanese guy. It just, it's a weird like, box that people may put you in. よくメディアが出す記事で、そのなんかソイさんとかスルさんのゲームは変な日本っぽいゲームとかそういうなんかラベルを作ったりするけど、それはちょっとバンドからしたら失礼で、あまりちゃんと分かってないように感じる時があります。ありがとう。<笑> Thank you. <笑> uh, but... How, what, what do you do in that kind of situation when it's kind of helping your games become popular, but it also may be a bit rude? So, if you don't have a game, you can't get a game. But, in other words, it's just a good thing. So, what do you think about it? But, in other words, it's just a good thing. So, if you have a game, you can't get a game. But, in other words, it's just a good thing. So, if you have a game, you can't get a game. But, in other words, it's just a good thing. So, if you have a game, you can't get a game. But, in other words, it's just a good thing. So, if you have a game, you can't get a game. でライターさんも、えー、とバカじゃないからその本当にそう思って書いてるんじゃなくてユーザーとかそのファンの人が読みたいように書いてるから、えー、とそういうふうにプロデュースしてもらってるとも思うしかないと思う。So, um, you know, there are a lot of games out there that never get written about. So, first of all, he's just thankful that people are willing to write about his game. And,、um, you know, you gotta realize sometimes that the person writing the article may not actually feel that way about the game, but they feel like They have to write in a certain way to get people to read it or to get people to know about the game. So he's just, he just thinks or just assumes that you know, that's the way they decide to produce his content.、Mm. And when you're making games that kind of will please yourself, do you ever worry about、uh, your fans or potential fans having different taste from you? And maybe something that you really think is good is going to make them. ディスカステッドオーナーヴィスオーサンシンあ、これやったらユーザーは満足するようなゲームを作ろうとしているときになんかあ、これやったらユーザーは満足しないとかユーザーだったら面白くないかなって心配したりすることありますかあ、それはあ
Um, I'm curious to know if there's anything that you, any examples of ideas you've picked up from taking trips to places like Hyderabad or mm -hmm. Dubrovnik and Split or something like that. Uh, when you get to travel and go to these conferences, do you take what do you take back with you to put back into your game? You mean when I took the bus or the, like, el, el, koto ga atta toka game ni tsukai eru yona idea toka arimashita. Real, so it's a具体的に Do you want a, you want an actual example? But demo, kyou ma ne doko no kuni itte mo maenichi no seikatsu demo. ゲームに使おうと思うところがたくさんあって、えー、と例えばここに来る前にイスタンブールにダルと行ったと思うけどそのイスタンブールだとマネキンのデコレーションがちょっと変わってたじゃない、まあ、ここで言っても分からないと思うけどそういうのを見るとそういうマネキンばっかり置いてる服屋さんがゲームに出てきたら面白いなとかいうふうに考える。Um, he feels like daily life and mundane things really give him a lot of ideas. Um, just as an example, before coming to Croatia, he stopped in、uh, Turkey for a little bit, and he was walking around, and in all the store windows, he saw all these very strange mannequins, very unusual.、Yeah. And so he really thought it'd be interesting if, in a game, you know, you went into a certain shop where there are all these really weird mannequins standing around. There is one store window in Turkey where there was all these mannequins, but only one of the mannequins was like completely gold. We <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> Now, with these kinds of things, do you, do you make notes? Do you write them down? Or do you just trust that you're going to remember this idea for later? So, you took your note, Tanto Memo, Kaita is Maska, so it's more. Absolutely. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. We need a smartphone and then memo, notes.、Mm -hmm. uh, and then, do you, when you're creating a game, do you. Sort of sift through some of these memos and think, ah,、oh, this is this might this idea from life might be good here. So, memo, meet you, Tokini, Chanto, Erande, Akorata, Kokore, Scatahoe, Toka, so you funny at the Moscow. Well, memo, Boko no memo, meets no memo, and the Tutsu are as Mitameno, Jims no Mitameo memo scare, call you with Mitameo Kurita. The most Tutsu are some Nakami no Henai, Yatara. So he has three different types of notes. The first notes、uh, deal with appearance, how people look, if he sees someone who looks in a certain way. The second are、um, people's、uh, motivations, you know, what drives them. And the third is. Personality.、Uh, personality, like、uh, if they do weird things, like if someone who's really obsessed with miso soup. Yeah. <laughs> 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 まあ、モテたいでもいいし、えっと、世界一変人と思われたいとか、それも全部動機のメモに書いてある。And the most important one of those is the motivation memo because it really gives characters a direction, such as, you know, I want to become the weirdest person in the world, or I really want to be popular with the opposite sex, or I want to kill people, stuff like that. <laughs> And how did you. If you can identify, how did you develop your personal taste? Because a lot, you know, if you play a lot of games and watch a, a lot of movies, you can see games and movies where it's clear all they liked was other games or other movies. And their, their taste is very narrow. They're just like, I liked Super Mario Bros., so I want to make a platformer. And you don't see the kind of breadth of knowledge.、Um, so, how did you sort of? Come to where walking down the street you'll see interesting mannequins and be like, ah, that's an idea. Because some people would, most people would just pass it by. I don't know if you can see the game, but I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see the game. I don't know if you can see
感じるものがあります例えばマリオが好きだったら横スコールのゲームを作るとか、うん、そういうテイストがすごく狭い人たちがいっぱいいると思うけど、うん、スウェリさんぐらいのレベルで例えばマネキンを見てそれをアイディアに使えるような,なんか洗練されたようなテイストになるにはどうしたらいいんですか<笑>わお<ー><笑>ディフィカルト<笑>うーんつの考え方があって一つはあのね自分がおかしい変だと思うもの奇妙だと思うものはそのみんなもそう思うものだから簡単にそのみ誰でも奇妙だと思うものを入れても奇妙にならないまずはそれが一つ目。So the first, there's two ways to think about this. The first one is that, you know, what you think of as weird, just naturally,、uh, there's a good chance that everyone else is going to think that that's weird. So don't go with that because, you know, it's not going to be weird if you put it in. The more one thing is, this is the most important thing, that the people's style, or 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 the people's style, えー、と本当に面白くなくなったわけじゃないから自分が面白さに飽きちゃダメっていうこと。Uh, and the second way, and this is the most important thing, is that if you did something one time and a lot of people thought it was really good, it may seem like it's really hard for you to do it again, but that's because you've gotten tired with it. It doesn't mean it stopped being good. So you need to think about it that way.、Mm. Um, I gave a short talk about taste at GDC.、Mm-hmm. And Because many people have felt like, or a lot of people say to me that taste is something you have or you do not have. But I believe you can build it by doing things like, you know, thinking about why you like this movie, but your friend does not like this movie. And you have a conversation about it and listen to what the other person is feeling, and you may realize what it is inside of yourself that makes this interesting to you. But not to someone else. And cultivating that over time, you can start to be like, oh, I like those shoes, but you know why now. Because you can actually think through as a process, like,、uh, I like those shoes because they're green and black, and that's like colors that remind me of the Matrix, which I liked when I was five, <laughs> or something like that. Oh, no, 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 no question. Okay. Like, <laughs> 例えば映画が嫌いな人と映画が好きな人がいるこれはバンドンが GDC で言ってたテイストについての講演なんですけどそのなぜ自分がみんなが嫌いなものを好きなのかについて考えると自分のテイストがどういうものなのかを理解するようになるかもしれないと思って例えば緑と黒の靴を見るとこれは僕が大好きな「マトリックス」という映画の色に似てるから好きなんだとかそういうふうに自分のテイストを成長させることができるかもしれないとブランドンが思ってますよく人が言うのは、まあ、あテイストはあるテイストある人もいるし、うんうん、テストはない人もいるし、うんうん、でも僕は多分人生からのなんかギフトじゃないテスト。天性じゃないっていうも成長させることができる、うんうんうん。それはそうだと思うよ。あだけどそのそれはクリエイターの話だよね、うん。キャラクターがなぜこれが好きかとかをえっと自分は知っててもそれをゲーム中で描いちゃ絶対ダメなんだよそれは。それはやっちゃダメで、えー、そうしてしまうとユーザーがその理由に納得いかないとそのキャラクターに共感できなくなる。うん。いや、he agrees with that as far as creators go, but、um, you have to be careful in games that when you have characters who like a certain thing, you don't want to explain why they like a certain thing because the players may not agree with that, and when that happens, it really kind of ruins things. だからゲームの中でキャラクターが描く場合は。そのキャラクターがなぜそういう行動をしているかっていうモチベーションは大事だけどそのキャラクターが、えー、何々なぜこれを好きになったかっていう理由は書いちゃダメなんだよただ好きなんだよそれは So just to reiterate in games it's important it's really important to give your characters motivations but you know if your character likes a certain thing you don't want to go back and say and explain why they like that certain thing it's not good Yeah like in、uh, the movie by Suzuki Seijun,、mm-hmm. uh, Youth of the Beast.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the main character loves 
the smell of boiled rice. Mm -hmm. And when he's feeling depressed or uh, down, he, yeah. he hugs the, yeah. the boiled rice. But they don't explain why that is. Mm -hmm. And it makes the movie so much more interesting. Mm -hmm. Because it's not even a major plot point. It's just his thing. コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コロシノラクイン。コ
what is the best whiskey you have ever had? <laughs> <laughs> well, a tough question. Mm. I have an answer, but... Just a uh, random one, so... Hmm? What? So, this is the most popular character in Star Wars, and the most popular character in Star Wars, and the most popular character in Star Wars, and the most popular character in Star Wars, If he's wondering why you asked him this question, like if this was a question like what's your favorite character in Star Wars, then his, you know, he would want to answer Jar Jar Binks to make it funny. <laughs> But he's wondering if it's that kind of question or not. No. Okay, yeah, imagine me. Imagine me. Okay, if this is a serious question, he would answer with Port Ellen. Port Ellen. I had uh, UBI Soft on the board. UBI Soft paid for his uh, drink. Of that. <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> okay, do you want to do any audience Q&A or drinking? Uh, I have to do Q&A because the mayor invited me here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, if, if anyone in the audience has anything, Shane. Hey, so you did, you know, when you did Toko TV, you know the French uh, station that's on YouTube that does the show? Do you, did, did you get a weird audience of people coming because it's mostly directed for people who don't play games? And did, do the people, the places that you went, do people now go there and tell you all the time they went there? And how do the people who own those places feel about that? France, uh, France, they had a show. Yeah, yeah. 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 いやえっとね、本当はあれ、フランスのテレビってアルコール飲むシーン映しちゃだめだって言われたの。で、だけど、お酒飲まなかったらどこも連れていくとこないって言って、無理やりあれを撮ってもらって、それで、本来は7分の番組なんだけど、20分版で YouTube でやりますっていうので、無理やりねじ込んでもらったの。Mm. So, uh, on, on French TV, you're not supposed to show any alcohol? But he said, well, if you're not going to let me drink, then there's nowhere to go. <laughs> so eventually what they did was they turned it into this 20-minute special for YouTube. And that's how he got them to do it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, there was this place, Owl's Nest, a bar he often goes to, where he had the owner make this really huge pancake for him. But, uh, and he ate it, but the thing was, he ended up not being able to put it in because the owner didn't want people to think that he'd be able to actually make something like that. Um, but also, the, the point of do people who watch that, do they now go to those places and tell you they went there? Yeah. So, yeah. その番組見た人が実際にそういう場所に行ってソイさんに行けたよみたいなそういう報告はありますかあらあらあら<笑><笑>わざわざ大阪まで They go all the way to Osaka just to tell Sori that they went to the place <笑>そのためにゲンさんが電話してくるで、oh. ファンの子がいる来てるから電話変わってって渡したらファンの子があ、おう、あ、うあ <laughs> so when they go there, they, uh, Gensan, the guy who owns that bar, bar Owl's Nest, will call Swery and say, hey, one of your fans is here. And they'll, pa they'll, they'll pass the phone to them and they'll just be like, uh, and they'll be, and they'll be able to speak to him. Every time. <laughs> okay, yes, great. Um, two things. Um, wonderful picture, by the way, it was brilliant. Yeah, and, uh, thank you. It's very distracting. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other thing is, please can you tell us, or, or can you tell us, anything about the new games that you're working on? Wow. Wow. It's a bit difficult, right? Well, I don't know what I'm doing now, but... えっと、だからエッチで暴力的でクレイジーなものですよね。He can't say much about the new project, but basically it's、uh, perverted, violent, and crazy. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.、Um, I think you answer of Brazil was very good answer for investing in. I'd be really interested to know what is your favorite Japanese movie. Wow. Japanese movie. 
一番好きな日本の映画。What do you want to know?You're saying why? Why do you want to know?Because I've been pressing to watch it. <笑>見,見,たい見たいから、うんうん、えー、大変どうしよう、うん、<笑>これなんかセンスを問われるじゃないですか<笑>君の名はとか言うとこかダメダメですかルーの君の名はジャパニーズアニメーション君の名は<笑>知らない知らない、うん、多分英語のタイトルが、えー、英語のタイトルなんで英語でいいや多分違うでしょ。Well, your name is dot 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 apparently is a, a animated movie. Someone needs to search it. It's Kimi no Nawa. Kimi no Nawa for the English name. Yeah. Listen to it. I would also recommend s e i j u n Suzuki's z i g e r v i s e n if you know at all. It's, a, it's basically like watching someone's three hour fever dream. It's really, and in a good way. The first hour and a half is like, what? It's like David Lynch. You're like, what am I doing here? <laughs>、uh, but then the more you're in that world, the more you don't want to leave it. So、uh, I highly recommend it. House, house. House, mochi don house. House is also extremely good. 1977. Yeah. Not, not the 1980 horror movie no, from America. No, no. The, the 77 one. It's, it's, like, it's made by an advertising director who、uh, quit. Or, no, I don't know if he quit. But anyway, he started making. He, he wanted to make a movie, but he made it with the sort of editing style of the Japanese movie,、yeah. Japanese ads of the time. So, like, you'll have this scene, and it's like really tough and strange, and then suddenly there's this, like, Ultra happy pop song, and like people are like running down the field, and、uh, and the house eats everyone. So, Kimi no Nawa. Kimi no Nawa. Your name, Kimi. Your name, Kimi. Your name. Well, now, in Japan, just a little while ago, it was famous. This movie was,、uh, got a lot of popularity just recently in Japan. Uh, Usually he never cries, but he watched that in the airplane and cried. <laughs> Probably just because he's gotten old.、Uh, any others? Yes.、Um, hi.、Uh, thank you again for your biography.、Uh, I have a question regarding your creative process.、Uh, it was mentioned during the discussion that. Uh, there might be a difference of culture between Japan and Western countries、uh, because、uh, Japanese games are sometimes very violent or might be seen as weird for non Japanese people. Did it happen that when you were discussing with publishers or console manufacturers, you, you had problems to release your game and they didn't want something because it was too violent or too, too much? So, did it happen that you have to remove something sometimes, that you have to change your creative vision? 今までパブリッシャーとハードのメーカーとの話でこれは過激すぎるとか暴力が多すぎるから変えてっていう話出ましたあのレッドシュートプロファイルはそれで4回キャンセルになりかけてあの変えました実際に発売するために過激すぎたから。That happened、um, with Deadly Premonition which is why it was cancelled four times and eventually he did have to change a lot about it. まあ、最初のシナリオはそのレイプして殺した女の人を食べる話だった。The original script to Deadly Premonition、um, centered around a killer who raped and then ate his victims. 今考えたら頭おかしいから。<笑> Obviously, that's something that an insane person would write, so, which is why he had to change it. なんかそういうのを作りなかったよ、当時はね。<笑> that's what he wanted to make at the time, though. Any others? Okay, I think we're yeah, right here at the end. It's seven, so. Yeah. Good. Yeah, thank you for coming.
going. <laughs> oh, also, if you want to hear more from us, we, we have a session tomorrow about the future of the Japanese game industry, so feel free to come to that. Yeah, yeah. Remind me. <laughs> <laughs>